hi my Russian friends, it's Yule here. Guess what? It's my birthday today! Happy birthday to you. Happy Surprise. birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Yulia. Happy birthday to you. Thanks. Lovely fix for you, my darling. Thank you so much. No problem. I oh. saw Paul in my dream last night. Lovely. You were Greek. And oh, right, okay. Your name was Paulio. Paulio, eh? <laughs> okay. I get called all sorts of things. <laughs> Thank you, honey bunny. Guys, to celebrate my birthday, we are offering you a great discount, 25% discount on our new book, The Raw Message, and all the different packages that we have put together. It will last for 48 hours. Don't miss out. No, because don't it's miss a out. unique sale. We don't know when it's going to be on sale again. It's a very popular book. So be sure to grab yourself a copy, go to this link, and also I'll po post the link in the description section. So be sure to grab yourself a copy of my new book, The Raw Message. Yes. Thank okay, you. I'll see you later after eating the fish. Bye. Well, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite recipes. It's actually so easy to make. It contains no overt fat whatsoever. It's sweet, it's scrumptious, it's delicious. I'm sure you'll enjoy it too. So as you can see our kitchen is tiny so what I'm going to do is show you the photographs of the ingredients that I have used and how I prepared them and then we will put it all together into a banana strudel. So I used the following ingredients three medium apples peeled, seven dates well, I actually used eight dates and reserved one for decoration. So you use seven dates for the sauce and reserve one date for decoration. So that's eight dates altogether. Five medium bananas that are very soft. So what I then did was to prepare a date and apple sauce. It's so scrumptious. And um, I made this by mixing apples and dates in a food processor. So chop your apples roughly, chop your dates, place them in a food processor, add some water, a couple of tablespoons of water, and then just mix together. Now with bananas, you need to make sure that your bananas are ripe. Take five bananas, peel them, and then slice them into two parts and then slicing each banana into three diagonal slices. So you can use mandolin slicer. We don't have one because we travel all the time, so I just use the knife. So knife is another alternative. Here I've got the bananas ready, sliced. I've got the apple and date sauce, and I've got my reserve date chopped for decoration. And by the way, I pre-soaked the dates overnight to make them softer and easier to digest. So what you will need is a plate to put the bananas on. So it will be a layered banana pie. And then we will put the sauce in between the banana layers. So use a knife just to make sure if these bananas are very, very soft so that they don't split into two parts. And I'm going to put four bananas together like this and then four bananas at the bottom so it will be like a layer as you can see a layer of bananas and then what you do you can even it out a bit these are very very ripe and soft bananas and then what you do is place a layer of date and apple sauce and just spread it. By the way, you can also add cinnamon and vanilla to your banana and date mix if you desire. Personally, I didn't add any. I no longer like um, herbs or spices. I just find plain food really satiating and I really enjoy it. So the next layer will be bananas again. Okay, so that's the second layer of bananas. 
and I'm going to put another la layer of the date and apple sauce. Yum. So now I'm going to put yet another layer of bananas. So this will be the final layer, the third layer. And put another layer of apple and date sauce. And I'll have some sauce left. That's okay. We can eat it. It's tasty enough. Oh, this is really lush. And then I'm going to just chop the remaining bananas roughly and just add them as decoration together with some chopped dates. So what I'm now going to do is chop the bits that are not even with a knife to make it more presentable and again you can eat these bits of course and to the side as well so now I'm going to just wipe the mess I created with the tissues to make sure that the plate looks clean. You can also put some banana ice cream on the side. This will be a nice addition. Well then there you go. The banana layered banana pie yummy scrumptious is ready. I so look forward to having it and sharing it with Paul and I'm so glad that I shared this recipe with you. I absolutely adore sharing things with other people when it comes to food when it comes to sharing joy and abundance thank you very much for watching this video feel free to post your comments below have a great day we are off to celebrate remember that you can still get a book at a 25 percent discount enjoy your day guys eat sweet be fit see you soon bye